Welcome to the short video about Stuart 504 boiler fittings. I have a collection of various Stuart models fittings and in this video I'm modifying a steam tap then fitting the steam tap to a 504 boiler followed by the water gauge, pressure gauge, check valve and safety valve. Fitted into the chuck of my Boxford lathe is a Stuart steam tap. I need to machine this to alter the thread size. The item in the foreground is a live centre to support the part as it sticks out of the chuck. At the moment the thread that goes down into the boiler on this particular tap is too big. Currently it's 3 eighths of an inch diameter threaded 26 threads per inch. I need the thread to be 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter by 26 threads per inch. But I immediately ran into a problem. Here I've removed the live centre to show you what I'm about to do. Just machine away the old threads and reduce the diameter. And here I'm doing just that, and it's nearly there. At first it seemed like a good idea, but the further on I got I realised that there was a problem. The hole in the centre of the valve is not in the centre of the hexagon part. These taps are machined castings, and this one wasn't very well machined in the first place by the look of it. And the job didn't get any better when I started to thread it. I'm using one of my thread adapters with the tailstock chuck holding it in line. In this clip you can see very clearly how far out of true the threaded part is to the hexagon part. I couldn't live with this, so I put the life centre back in place and parted off the threaded bit. And then very carefully I mounted the part back in the chuck and I used a milling cutter to centralise the hole, then I drilled it to the right depth. Using a tapping size drill for 5 sixteenths by 26 threads per inch. And then I made a brand new thread insert that you can see in the centre of this image. All I have to do now is fit part B to part A. And as I wish this part to be permanently attached to the steam tap, I'm using Loctite 603, not Loctite 542. Here I'm screwing the finished tap into the boiler, making sure there's no Loctite 542 around the end of it. And as you can see, the hexagon part is more or less concentric with the boiler bush. This was just a test run. I fitted a washer to it and then tried again. And I got the washer size just right because when I tightened up the fitting, it was in the right position. That's the first part of the operation completed. I just need to make a suitable union nut to fit on the tap. I thought I would fit the safety valve next. This is a standard Stuart safety valve. Personally, I don't like them because they make funny noises, but I have to use one because it's a 504 boiler. Some of my past girlfriends made funny noises and I didn't like them either. But that's enough of that sort of thing. Here I'm removing the rubber residue from the nut that holds the water gauge in place. Once upon a time, model steam boiler water gauges didn't use silicone rubber. This was a bit of an anomaly. The water gauge glass did not fit in the top fitting. All I did was carefully drill out the fitting to 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter, then the glass fitted perfectly. I didn't drill out the bottom fitting, that was just used as a guide to keep the drill in place. And it was the right size anyway. In one of the boxes of bits that I received from the USA, I found a genuine Stuart water gauge for a 504 boiler. Well, the glass anyway. And the rubbers. So I thought, well, I may as well use these, it's original. Here I'm showing the normal operation of fitting a gauge glass to a water gauge. The water gauge glass now fits into the top fitting. So after I slid the glass through the fitting, I fitted one of the rubber rings, followed by a nut, then another nut, followed by another rubber ring. All I had to do then was tighten up the special 5 sixteenths by 26 threads per inch nuts that hold the rubber in place. One of these water gauge nuts was completely plain, so I machined it to match the other. The usual word of caution, when model steam boilers get hot, or any boiler gets hot, they expand. You must only tighten the water gauge nuts sufficiently to seal against the pressure. If you really torque them up, you will probably crack the glass as you do it. And if the glass is clamped too tightly in the fittings, when the boiler expands, the glass is very likely to crack. And this is much worse when the boiler's in steam and full of boiling water. Over the years, I've done this many times, I've broken quite a few sight glasses from either hitting them with a shovel by accident or just over tightening them. And the problem is not the fracturing of the glass, it's all the steam and boiling water that goes everywhere. Here I'm fitting an old pressure gauge that I've had for a while. It came from Bruce Engineering, who used to sell Stuart models many years ago. 
When I connected an air line to the boiler and put some test pressure in there, the old pressure gauge didn't give me a correct reading. So temporarily I fitted a smaller pressure gauge. And according to the gauge on my compressor, this is the pressure that I'm currently feeding into the boiler, and it's the same on this small gauge. Everything you see me do in this video is a temporary situation. I'll be taking the boiler apart again because I need to do some things at it. I can feel on my hands that some air is leaking from the water gauge, so I'm tightening the nuts, but they're far too tight and it's still not sealing. This is possibly due to the fact that the rubbers were very old and had got hard with age. I replaced them with standard silicone rubber o-rings. These silicone o-rings are quite a tight fit in these nuts. Sometimes I use silicone rubber fuel tubing, which is a bit easier. But in the end, the glass went into the nuts with the silicone rubber o-rings and everything's fine. This is a brand new Stuart pressure gauge, which is the one I'm going to use on the steam plant that I'm about to build. Why am I fitting it to this old dented boiler? It's just for calibration purposes to make sure that this is OK. And this is OK. With £60 showing on the compressor's gauge, there's also £60 showing on the Stuart gauge. Here I'm adjusting the Stuart safety valve. I've slackened off the Allen head grub screw, which when tightened stops any of the parts from rotating. You can't see it because it's air, not steam, but it is actually blowing off slightly. This will be OK for now because it's not the final build. I'll be taking all of the parts except the water gauge off again. I'm going to perform a second hydraulic test on this boiler. I've already tested it once, but I did it off camera. And as I showed in the 500 boiler, I will anneal this dent and try and push it out with hydraulic pressure. For now though, I put the brand new pressure gauge back in its plastic bag and refitted the Bruce Engineering one just for this photograph. And that really concludes this video. As always, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.